Um, today we we'll, we'll trust the Lord to teach us on the wages of sin. The wages of sin. Let's quickly check the book of Romans. Romans um, chapter 6 verse 23. The Bible says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now, the point of emphasis is the wages of sin is death. What is wages? In economics, when you talk about wages, you are referring to a kind of money that is paid to laborers on daily basis, which is usually per hour. Are you there? So you can walk in a place for an hour and they will pay you for that one hour that you have worked. That's a wage. That is an example of wages. Now, the Bible now says the wages of sin is death. That means that spiritually, sin is a form of work. Sin is a form of work whose wages is death. So the moment you sin, a currency is credited into your account. And that currency is called death. Because that is the wages for that work you have done. So you must understand that spiritually, sin is a kind of work. So a man that is committing sin is doing work. But that work is doing is not the works of the spirit, it's the works of the flesh. I hope you get what I'm saying. So sin is a kind of work, but that work is the works of the flesh. So we must understand that spiritually, sin is a form of work. So a man that is in sin is actually employed. He is doing something. He is doing a kind of work. But that work is doing is the works of the flesh and the wages the wages the wages is called sin so the moment you sin you receive a credit alert into your account and that credit alert is in form of sin it is in form of death it's called death so a man that is sinning is a man that is working a sinning man is a working man but that work is doing is the works of the flesh so the wages is called death. So, you know, spiritually, when you do certain things, it's not like the physical when, you know, in some states and some countries, the government holds salary. They don't. Once you sin, that wages is, is transferred to your account immediately. There's no delay. There's no salary. No, no, there's no delay. The moment you sin, the wages is transferred to your account immediately. And that wages is death. So everyone that is in sin is in death. Everyone living in sin is living in the realm of death. Are you there? So the more you continue to sin, the more you continue to accumulate death for yourself. Because the wages of each of those sins you are committing is called death. So imagine you are living in sin. That means you have a lot of death in your account. Because they will spiritually, they will keep on paying that wages for you, for you based on the works of the flesh you are doing. So certain people will accumulate, you know, you it, it is possible to accumulate so much wages, so much death in your account that it will become so hard for you to follow God because you already, your, your account is robust with death. They have paid in a lot of, a lot of wages has been paid into that account in form of death that it, be, it will become so hard for you to even follow God. The wages of sin is death. So you must understand that there is a work of the flesh. The works of the flesh is sin. So a man that is committing sin is working the works of the flesh and the wages is death. And I told you that this, this credit alert is, is done immediately. For every act of sin, there is a wages. There is a wage that is sent on the account of that works of the flesh that that person has done. I hope you get what I'm saying. Now, this will now bring us back to the garden. The question is, at what point did Adam and Eve die? At what point did they die? It was immediately the sin that death entered because the moment they touched the fruit the forbidden fruit death was transferred into their account because 
that is the wages for that work they have done. I know I told you sin is a form of work. So the moment they touched the fruit, death was transferred. So it was because of that credit alert that they found it difficult to stand in the presence of God. So Genesis chapter 3 verse 8, when God now came, the Bible says when God came in the cool of the day, they have to hide themselves. Why? They, their account has been credited with death. So the more your account is credited with death, the lesser your chances of working with the Lord. Because it will get to a point when your account is so robust with death that you will not want to follow God. You will not want to follow. May that not be your case in the name of Jesus. We must understand that sin has wages. And the way wages are paid, it can, it, 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 wages are paid daily. Usually, which is usually in form of hours. So if you work for two hours, you get the wages for two hours. If you work for an hour, you get the wages. I pray for you that the Lord will give you grace to stop engaging in the works of the flesh and start doing kingdom things. Start doing, you know, the works of the spirit in the name of Jesus. In the book of Galatians, if you read, the Bible reveals, you know, the works of the flesh. Those works, okay, maybe we should check so that we will have a better understanding. Let's go to the book of Galatians and check the works of the flesh. Now, let's check the book of Galatians chapter 5 from verse 19. The Bible says, now the works, can you see that? The works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, various emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envies, envies, murders, drunkenness, revelings and such like now all these things that has been listed here they have wages anytime you choose to now a man that is committing adultery is working <laughs> a man that is uh, that is engaging himself in, in fornication is working because those are the works of the flesh a, a man that is engaging in, in idolatry is working those who are engaging themselves in witchcraft they are working you have, if you have hatred and you enjoy that hatred, you are actually working. If your own is drunkenness, you are working. If your own is murder, you are working. And that work is the works of the flesh. And it is important for you to note that the wages of every work of the flesh that you choose to engage yourself in consciously is death. And it is dangerous for a man to acquire too much of death in his account because the more the death you have in your account, the lesser your chances of working with God. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. Meanwhile, the same way we have the works of the flesh, we also have the works of the spirit. Now, the works of the, the, works of the spirit, they are referred to as the fruit of the spirit. The works of the Spirit are the fruits of the Spirit. I pray the Lord will help us to journey away from the realm of death and begin to walk on the path of life in the name of Jesus.